Africa's banking market. It offers vast potential whilst remaining relatively untapped. Here to speak about how it's developing is Zenith Bank CEO Godwin Amalfili. Godwin, what level is banking in Africa currently at? The level of banking in Africa has evolved from just a rudimentary level, I would say several years ago, to I would say uh, among some of the uh, developed in the world um, today. If you consider the fact that African banks rank today amongst the biggest banks in the world, certainly African banks have come a long way, both in terms of shareholders funds, in terms of profitability. Some of the banks in Nigeria and South Africa particularly have really come of age and I think we need to comment them. Well, people talk about the potential in Africa, but in reality, how easy is it to operate there? If you consider the fact that several years ago, Africa was mainly dominated by military regimes, but today, Africa has come of age because practically all the countries in Africa today are democratically elected governments. I would think the level of um, development in terms of politics has really come of age. And when you have an environment where democracy is, has been properly instituted, then you can be sure that the level of governance that you have in the financial system um, will be strong and all that. And I think that um, is a major um, advantage for Africa today. Well, focusing on corporate governance now, and how developed is Africa in this field? The level of transparency in doing business has improved, um, particularly in the, in the very recent past. For instance, in Nigeria, um, the monetary authorities insist that um, banks must publish their accounts at the same time. The monetary authorities have begun to insist that even the boards of banks uh, need to get involved in, 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 in some of the uh, detailed issues that are involved in running the banks today. And, um, and so to date, I think um, the level of governance has improved. What's Zenith's approach to corporate governance and what challenges have you faced and as a result overcome? We really come over because in 23 years when the bank was set up, um, uh, the bank was set up with strong risk management policies and practices put in place and um, strong governance also was put in place. So today when, you be when people begin to talk about oh, what is the level of governance, we just uh, we take it for granted because the bank itself was set up with strong risk management and governance practices put in place. But what were the challenges you faced in that field and how did you overcome them? Some of the challenges is that because an institution is coming, and come in and um, insist on certain things to be done the way they are supposed to be done. At the initial stage, they, they tended to be alien to our environment, but of course, we were able to overcome them by insisting that we have the right people in the board, we have the right persons that are taking up uh, certain jobs in the bank. And of course, with that, it's, I mean, the challenges became um, something very, very easy for us to overcome. How is Zenith shares distributed? In 2004, Zenith became a publicly quoted company on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. And of course, early this year, our shares were quoted on the London Stock Exchange. Uh, so as a public company, you find that the shares can be easily treated publicly on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. You can, you can pick up the Zenith shares on the exchange. Well, you just mentioned that uh, Zenith has been listed on the London Stock Exchange. So what impact has this had on your company? The impact has been tremendous in the sense that if you find out that before we listed at GDR on the London Stock Exchange. There were certain companies in London and different parts of the world that would have liked to access Zenith Bank shares. But as a result, certain um, restrictions placed on them that they cannot come directly into the Nigerian Stock Exchange to, pro to procure those shares, they couldn't come in to buy the shares. But by being listed now on the Nigerian Stock Exchange, it is easy for them to go onto the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange to buy the Nigerian uh, Zenit Bank shares. So finally, what would you say are the major challenges that the African banking sector faces and how do you see these being overcome? Basically two challenges here. Challenges in the, in the, in the sense that banks, uh, particularly in Nigeria, have to provide power for themselves. But of course recently with government divesting from power and then giving the authority to private sector institutions to provide power, generate power and distribute power banks will now begin to focus more on their banking business rather than providing power. Second, before now, I would say the Nigerian banking and, and industry was dominated primarily by cash. But um, with the Central Bank of Nigeria bringing the policy of uh, cashless, the cashless policy in place, we find out that less emphasis is, is, is being placed in, 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 in picking up cash, but more of, the, more, more of it is now in um, doing electronic banking. Godwin, thank you. Thank you very much.